Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Um, this is going to be for October 2024. Um, I do want to say real quick though, I'm doing this uh, very close to the super moon's energy. You know, it's the um, the harvest moon uh, for September, but then it moves into the corn moon. And it's interesting because the harvest moon, what you want to think about is like, you know, what kind of seeds were was I planting back around Pisces energy? So, you know, late February into March, like, were you planting any emotional seeds? This is a time I feel like, um, like if I've had certain dreams, but let's just say they haven't come about, then I may, need to make a decision of either like letting that dream go and dream something else or you know, understand that, um, like being open to like, maybe it needs, you know, new avenues, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so it is a time to, first of all, I feel like it's a time to harvest the seeds that you've planted. Um, but it's also thinking about the seeds you're planting. You know, I feel like you never stop thinking about that. You know, I'm thinking of like South America, North America, like North America, we're going into winter and the harvest moon, you know, we're harvesting those seeds of intention, so to speak. Some of some of us could be harvesting money, whatever it may be. Um, but then the corn moon is about like scraping up what's left, you know, um, it's really about preparing for the weather you know, the season, and, um, I don't know, this feels a little more barren, so, anyway, I don't know why I'm bringing that up in your reading, um, anyways, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, um, many of you are intuitively guided now, and I'm proud of you for just paying attention to your intuition, it's like, it doesn't matter but what anybody else thinks, you know, um, and because I read through my guides, I feel like a lot of times it's your guides like nudging you towards reading. So, you know, no apologies, you know, no apologies needed. I feel like, and that goes the whole way around the table. Um, some of you may be in love with an Aquarius, platonically, romantically, same thing. Be open to receiving messages yourself. Um, I feel like if we just come to the table with truth, right? Our own truth and like our eyes are wide open, our ears are wide open, but we're just going to let, you know, however the story wants to unfold, we're going to let it unfold. I do remember your reading last month and for September and it was not easy. It was one of those readings where I needed to take the rest of the day off. Um, but you know, it had some difficulty difficulty in it, but it also had like these silver linings. And I feel like this reading is hopefully energy. And, you know, at that time, we were very close to, I think it was seven planets in retrograde. So a lot of people are going through difficult times, but I feel like you really felt it. So I'm hoping this is going to be a much more uplifting reading for you. Um, but we're going to let it be whatever it wants to be. All right, guys. Uh, so for the reading, we are going to use Mother Mary for her words of wisdom. We are going to use the Romance Angels. We're using these like we use the Major Arcanas in September readings. In the September readings, um, they were like the bullet point. So we're only going to take, you know, three, four let's just say in that vicinity, but it doesn't guarantee us we're going to take whatever comes out um, to a point. So we will use them again. Interesting. I have the cards flipped over in my hand and it says new love. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I normally don't even look at the cards until it's time, until it's go time. We're going to use the Gilded Shroud. And look at that. I, I just realized like I hold the image away from me so I don't see the back. 
I don't see who's on the bottom. Um, I see what you see. So anyways, we're going to use these to go deeper. And we do have another little deck over here that I'll introduce if we end up using them. It could be additional clarification if we feel like we need it. But for your main spread, um, I'm going to use the Psychic True. Something is telling me all of a sudden, like, did I use this in September for you also? Maybe. Um, but that was then. This is now. You know, I feel like I got to say that, like, that was then. This is now. You know, because with time comes change. With change comes time. All right. So let's go ahead and. Open up this reading and let's bring the lid down. Start with Mother Mary. Everything is pre shuffled for those who don't know. Um, but I also like to give it a shuffle or two once the reading is officially, let's say, open. All right, let's give them a cut. To me, this is just like. Okay, introducing them into the reading. And give them a shuffle. I don't know why I'm giving you a step-by-step -step play. By the way, I want to say, like, feel free to ask your spirit guides to give you some type of confirmation during a reading. You know, like, um, words, numbers, colors, you know, whatever it may be. Flower. You know, um, I sing random songs at random times, and I used to stop myself, but now I, I realize that the songs themselves are messages, even though I sing them terribly. All right, anyway, caring. Caring. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. You know, that's another thing that um, I feel the super moon brings. It's like, you know, it's like clarity. It's choosing clarity. You know what I mean? Like, it's like there's things that you know that are true, that are true to you, like you know within. It feels like, and I feel like it's the world, like clarity. You know, truth, caring, right, about myself, but also about others in the world. And then we have, well, interesting, truth. It's exactly what I was just talking about, truth. I am lovingly honest with myself. Whoa, my light just went out. Oh, my light just came on. It's weird. My light's been blanket a lot. I am lovingly honest with myself and others, truth and caring. And we may read that from the book at the end, um, but it'll certainly let us know why it's here through the reading. All right. And I have to say, both of them put you first, like your truth, you know, you caring about you, but in a like in a, I don't know, the way you should. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna bring in the romance angels. And my whole deck upside down. Mm. Potentially coming back together with someone. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay.
playfulness. Interesting, I'm beginning this energy a lot. Like, I feel like October is going to be just a playful type of month. Or it can be, you know, I guess if I allow it to be. Playfulness, um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Hmm. Feels like a little bit of playful romance there. Look at this wedding. Interesting. It's like something is moving quickly. Wedding. This situation involves a wedding. I've gotten wedding a few times, and you know, for some, listen, I'm not going to leave it off the table. And when when I think of wedding, I think of commitment. That's what I really feel. Um, so maybe moving towards that type of commitment, you know, and I think wedding, I feel like the vows are, you know, till death do us die, so to speak. This almost has like a past life type of quality to it because I feel like, just take wedding out of the picture for a second. I feel like there is this like recognition. And again, you may already know this person, but even if you don't know this person, let's say, there's this like recognition very quickly and it feels very playful. Look at this, though. Deception. Interesting. And I have to tell you what I'm feeling. I feel like wedding and deception feel separate to me. Because I feel like, and I even took wedding out of the picture. And that may be why, because then deception comes up. So some of you may be involved with someone, let's say right now. And um, maybe you're married. You know, feels like you, you know, you were at least at one time made this commitment. But, you know, let's just say that this wedding, which, you know, could have been like all roses and glory, turned into, you know. But anyway, cause, because I'm feeling like it's giving me this feeling like, okay, so something not so great is happening here. But yet, this is what feels like is about to happen. So some of you, again, may be, but I feel like you would have your foot out the door. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like this is a, like, we're all in love here. And then this person enters. I don't feel that. I don't feel like I'm interrupting this love or what was love. Don't feel it's love anymore. So that's why I'm separating wedding and then deception comes out. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So someone's not being their true self. Someone could have certainly presented, you know, and I don't really know if I'm even meant to spend time on it, but I just feel like somebody could have represented like a certain picture, you know, of what this was going to be like, but it really turned out to be anything but that. And that's what I feel. And I feel like it's some of you who, someone from your past is returning. And I feel like immediately, listen, if nothing else, it's changing the way you're feeling. Because, again, you're dealing with, you know, like defensive type of energy. And, and it just feels like, first of all, the wedding, you know, the card is black. You know what I mean? Like black. You know, I'm thinking... White wedding, 
by Billy Idol, but this is kind of like the opposite. Okay, so, you know, it's like bad news, good news. All right, I'll just let that be. Well, I mean, it's, it's all going to be part of the reading. And let's bring in the psychic tarot. You know, in a way, I kind of, I kind of think that um, that I'm not expecting this. Like, whoever this is that's returning, and again, is it this lifetime, a past lifetime? I'm kind of feeling both of that, um, and it may be both. Um, but nonetheless, like, it's instantly changing you, your outlook. Mm. All right. You know, that black that I'm noticing around the wedding, um, that kind of reminds me of your reading last month. All right, so we have financial and material changes. Mm, that kind of feels like someone's using the sword of justice and potentially cutting ties. You know, it's interesting because it does a little bit remind me of my story, you know, and I'm sorry that I talk about it so much, but I get this because I had literally just broken up with someone um, two weeks. We were broken up for two weeks and I was in this very kind of dark, you know, lonely energy that is not normal for me. Um, and I picked up the phone and I called this person and I was just about to invite him over. And next thing I know, my call waiting, um, comes in and I put that person on hold and I took the call and here it was Sam, my first love, my first love, you know, and, and I have to say someone that had been on my mind. And in my heart, my whole life. Doesn't mean that that energy was front and center. It just means that, in a way, you know, his remembrance of me and my remembrance of him instantly connected us. And it's interesting, I'm seeing this five because it, we spent five years living in different states and just like talking over the phone. And, you know, I would not give that time up. So that's why I'm saying I get that energy because it was like during this, this moment where I knew better, I was still just about to give in and then boom, my life changes. So, you never know. Accelerated motion. Look at her staring up at the star. Number eight. Signif it's interesting because you have five, which is a change. You know, and what's changing? Well, it could potentially be something like your financial or even your material world. It could be like separation, you know, and like a 50-50 split, so to speak, or... So, but, you know, I'm still remaining hopeful, I feel, in this energy. You know, I'm still wishing. And maybe that's why I talked about in the beginning when I was talking about the supermoon. Like, that's exactly what it wants you to do. Hmm, look at this, the Ace of Swords. So, I feel like ring, ring. 
Ring, ring. First of all, the Ace of Swords to me does represent truth. And Mother Mary brought out truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. You know, I feel like this is a period of time also from Pisces energy till now where we really have been questioning a lot of things, you know, and we're looking at them in a different light. Like, is is this... Is this situation bringing me joy, you know, happiness? Is it, you know, making my life better? Or is it just wasting my time? You know what I mean? Though I don't, though I still feel like you're dreaming big. But I feel like also there's a lot of questioning, you know, and not questioning and like even in a judgmental way, but like, you know, do I keep it? Do I stay or do I go? A sword, look at that. It's like coming right in where I put the split of the romance angels. It's like it's making this split. Interesting because there's change, then immediately there's a new beginning. And immediately, there's the Ace of Swords. So, I feel like there's not a lot of time in between, let's just say, this ending, whatever this may be, right? Accepting what, whatever, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, but understand that it is, you know, it's asking for change. Maybe you yourself were, were, were asking for change and it's like you, I feel like, you know, whether I wanted to or not, I feel like ultimately the truth is the truth because I feel like it's not because of this, that this is not good, but because this is not good, that's where I feel the Ace of Swords is. That's where I'm making a decision. And I feel like, and then. And then I feel like that's when it turns into this new beginning. You know, and again, this person's looking up at the star. Well, really looking and that star is connected to someone from your past is returning to your life. Ace of Swords can represent communication you know like communication first so i may hear from you before i like actually see you we have mm, sun beautiful the sun first of all cardelio well, it's Leo's ruler. Sun is, you know, it's the illuminator. And it is right next to the Ace of Swords. So I almost feel like I can't, there's a truth that I just can't deny. But yet, you know, even if I'm thinking of like leaving someone or... There has been a recent split. I don't really feel you like, I don't feel that holding you back. If anything, I feel like it's releasing you. Like you're being like released back into the universe and the universe is happy to see you. Remember, remember that the, sun's, the sun illuminates. And what's right above it is deception. So, you know, even that energy, I, it's like I can't deny it, right? It is what it is. All right, what else do we have? We have rest and rejuvenation. This is the four swords. This is good. This is healing. Oh, there's something before it. Look at that. 
interesting, the devil before it. Here it's called temptation. Um, card of Capricorn. It's coming under financial and material changes. I feel like I feel like there's a little warning here. Just be careful of what you're tempted towards as it relates to your money. You know what I mean? Like don't fall for like false promises. Again, the sun is here to help illuminate. You know, anything is done in the dark will come to the light. And that I can trust in. All right. But anyway, we have now we have healing. And then we have interesting four cups, discontentment, boredom. So this almost tells me that you're looking for a change. That there's something that you're not satisfied with. You know, cups represent an emotional nature. It doesn't have to be that. It can just be life itself. But this is really where I'm turning my back on life. And in the Four of Cups, though you can't see it in this image, normally someone is being offered a cup. And... You know, the person's either looking at it or they're not. But really what this, this, the message of this card is to learn how to use your spiritual discernment. You know, and it's like, and just the way it's described here, discontent and boredom. And it's right under that ace of swords. Yet here's 44 connected. Rest and rejuvenation. You know, for some of you, maybe maybe you've had a little time alone. I feel like it's it's easy. It's easier for us to be tempted back. But tempted back to something that, you know, is not good than it is to be, like, shown the light and believe the light. Hmm. Like devil on one shoulder, angel on another. But. The Four of Swords is coming before that. So I feel like that, that is saying that even during that period of time, though maybe a lot's not happening, I feel like there's healing. There's some type of healing happening. And maybe you're aware of it, maybe you're not aware of it. I mean, you will be. You know, you have playfulness from the romance angels, and that's really what the sun speaks about also. Like, just allowing your inner child to come out and play, have fun, be unencumbered, you know, even if it's only for a day. Maybe that's the day that to reconnect. And what I remember about the day is the light. The fun, the joy, the romance, even if it's not spoken. Look at this. Hello, Two of Cups. Look at that. And hello, it's coming right under the sun, right under light, connected to the Two of Cups. You know, this is reminding me a little bit of another reading, but I can't remember what reading, because I feel like, you know, 
maybe in this darkness that I feel is, again, represented by wedding, um, you know, there could have been a period of time when I just felt old, you know, towards like darker energy or, you know, because I feel like deep down you're, you're a big dreamer, but maybe for whatever reasons, your dreams, you know, like, I don't know, maybe it just wasn't time for them to come about. And for some of you, it's like the act of literally like cutting those ties. I feel like it frees you. You know, this is, this is, yes, it's about what, what lies on the other side. But I also feel like first and foremost is talking about you in the way you'll feel. feel like your vibration is lifting and let's just say there's certain people around me where I do not feel theirs is and I feel like that's where the change comes. I love that this is a soulmate. I kind of felt that and again that can represent past lives because soulmates know each other right you know each other for eternity and that's why you can really recognize each other i wouldn't be surprised if you were on like similar type experiences almost like learning like you know i needed to learn the my dark to understand my light to appreciate it or even to appreciate the light okay we have stand your ground on the bottom of the deck this is the seven of wands stand your ground Choose wisely, 77, another seven, look at that, seven, 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 patience and planning, victory and success. Hmm. It almost feels like a dream that's been somewhat buried, but not dead. You know what I mean? Like, it can still come back to life. Okay, let's bring in the Gilded Chirau. For some reason, the cards feel it's a word I want to use. Like there was high humidity in the room, but there's not. You know, like I was in the deep south. But I'm not. All right. So let's start at the beginning, but let's read it as a whole. So there's some type of a change. And though the change may, you know, have been difficult. Even, you know, I had a loss during that period. I feel like really what it's doing, it's moving you into accelerated motion. But what I'm really noticing is how she's wishing upon a star. And, you know, 
I'm thinking, is that is that wish coming true? So I don't feel like this person is like down and out, so to speak. Maybe I was. We have three of wands. Hmm, I like that. You know, this can be someone going it alone. But, you know, what I love about the three of wands, it speaks about your, like, how you're looking at life. This is about living in the present moment. This is optimism. This is expecting good things to happen, and they do. You know, it's almost like I found... You know, maybe it can only it had come through my freedom. Like, I find this new path. I find this new part of me. This is like, you know, not trying to control anything. It's saying to the universe, like, I know my chips will come in. And that I can trust. And it's coming over what potentially could be a difficult time. But I, but I get this feeling like it's how I decide to look at it. You know, change isn't easy. Breaking up isn't easy. Even if it's, we know that, you know, I don't know. I just noticed that black behind him, like, And it's mirroring discontentment and boredom. With the Ace of Swords in between, almost like, you know, your truth. But I feel like once I come to that realization, once I see it, once I understand it, Three of Wands, you know, and that's what I feel like. It's, it's just a different, it's a more optimistic view of your future than what I feel like, you know, where you've been. I love that the sun is also anchoring that line because to me, I feel like, you know, that speaks about illumination. We have the four of pentacles. We have, look at this, the ten of swords. Okay. So I knew I felt something there. And look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. It's like a change of house. Let me just put it this way. It's making it clear that for some of you, and I feel like you will know it's you, um, because I feel like this is like... You know, the deception or the daggers, it wasn't a one-time thing. It was over and over again. And maybe I, I realized that the only thing that can change here is me. You know, the Ten of Swords, to me, can represent a repeat, of pat a repeat pattern. Um, and then you have discontentment and boredom below it. And both of them are kind of submissive type energy. And I feel like that's why truth is so important to you right now. You know, seeing what, what is, seeing, seeing what's really happening, being honest with myself. You know, again, I feel like this has been a period of time where we're realizing dreams and we're realizing, you know, we're looking at all sides of things. But I find it interesting right next to that Ten of Swords is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles mirroring this Three of Wands over here. You know, it's, it's, to me, it feels like 
I'm in a three of wands energy, not because I'm seeking the ten of pentacles. I feel like the ten of pentacles just lies upon this path. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. You know what else I'm noticing is where you have financial and material changes. Almost like, you know, let's say I had 10 pentacles and then five were taken away here. Well, here's me recouping that. But it's rec me recouping it in a different, different light. Maybe even with a different person. So whatever was taken away, I almost feel like, oh, wow, that's okay. You know, here I am in the three of wands energy. You know, I'm in the present moment. I'm thinking about all that can be. I'm thinking about bringing dreams back to life. You know, I'm being hopeful again. And, you know, and then I feel like the unexpected happens. The unexpected happens. But I feel it's interesting like that you're being taken care of first. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's coming over Capricorn's energy. We have the Queen of Swords. Interesting, she's in reverse. And they were Ace of Cups. Wow. You know, interesting is coming over the Four of Cups where normally you see this person being handed a cup and it looks like it's coming from heaven itself. So, you know, I feel this twofold. I feel like one love died. It's over. But yet, I feel like the Two of Cups, that's what follows this Ace of Cups. How interesting. You know, and how much time is in between this? I feel like it depends because... Look at this, the four swords again, right over the soulmates. Look at that, healing. Nice. Nice. I also love this coming right next to the Ace of Cups. You know, simply put, one thing did not work out. It did not turn out the way that I had hoped it would have turned out. Quite the opposite. And again, it could have been like a schmoozer, like someone who promised you the world, delivered none. Um, and, you know, maybe, you know, you tried. You tried. But it does feel like one thing is over and it, does feel like like oh feels like it's meant to be over or it is already it's already over you've already used the sword to cut ties 
Um, and then I feel like you're just allowing yourself to like be, you know what I mean? I feel like you're just allowing that like yourself to be. It's like even the sense of freedom, it feels good. I feel like I could have been with someone who not only were they difficult as it relates to like finances, but also like emotionally. All right, let's go right below. Look at this, the Eight of Cups. So, I'm kind of happy to see that because I feel like this is someone saying, you know, that's it. That's it. Like, that's it with these cups that have been knocked over. Again, I may not be looking for anything in this energy, but what I'm doing is clearing energy. I'm saying I'm not going to allow these emotional you know, things that didn't work out. These cups have been knocked over. I'm not going to, I'm just not going to accept them anymore. This person's heading towards the Nine of Cups, which is inner harmony. And maybe that inner harmony, it has to go through the Eight of Cups. Like, I have to take this emotional look within my life. I feel like I'm really looking at all parts of my life. But this is the emotional end of it. And this is to give yourself a new beginning. I feel like if nothing else, you can read people. But again, it gives me that feeling of like feeling free. Like I'm feeling free again. I don't know if I told you I what I'm doing this month is opposite readings like I did last month. So I'm doing your opposite sign um, either right before or right after I do yours. Let's see, yours is Leo and I have not done theirs yet so I will do theirs after you. Um, because I feel our opposite sign can, you know, there's things that we can learn from our opposite sign. There's a tower. Mm. You know, this tower is coming over the four swords. And towers usually represent to me like, you know, um, something has already happened. Queen of swords below that, you know, I don't know if it's like she feels like her voice had been taken, like her voice didn't matter anymore. Or if she's just like put down her defenses. You know what I mean? Like, and it might be both. Because I feel like when I'm I'm allowing my my mind to heal, my thoughts to heal, along with the rest of the rest of me.
Seven of Swords again. Mm. Well, I don't feel like this is what wants to be. I feel like this is another look at maybe the way I look at the, at the Ace of Cups. Maybe because I, I've been dealing in this type of energy. You know, the Seven of Swords again with the tower next to it. I, you know, for some of you, I feel like it's you saying, I've had enough. Enough is enough. Don't tell me that you love me. Don't tell me that. Don't even tell me that. Like, don't insult my ears. So I feel like, you know, I can't deny what I know. But I also feel like there's this importance to try. Because I do feel like, again, once you're free, you're free. And you feel that. And I feel a gratefulness of that. So I'm hoping this hasn't, like, closed you off to the potential. Again, I feel like when when this person comes into my life, I'm not really expecting it. But you can almost see how, like, things are being planned around it, right? Like, to the point where you can't deny what what is truth now. You know, maybe this other person, interesting five of cups. I was just going to say, maybe this other person has gone through the same thing similar type because both of these soulmates need this healing energy they both need it you know it's here for you but it's also here for them and then the five of cups come on you know the five of cups being mirrored over here by the eight of cups the five of cups speaks about where my focus is at and, you know, have I kept my focus on, like, what I have lost? Again, you know, it, it can turn into woe is me type energy. Um, but I get this feeling. I just get this feeling, you know, maybe why I talked about Sam and I and how he was always, like, always remained in my heart. Though he wasn't like front and center in my life. I was living my life. Yet when we reconnected, it was just something that was instant. And I think I'm telling you that because I feel that here. Not only do I feel that here, I even feel like what we talked about on the phone and it was each of us talking about like the bullshit within our lives. Um, but through talking about it, it helped each of us to, to heal. It really did. That's why, you know, that's why I feel like my story is important here. So, you know, when this person, which feels like they're doing in the five of cups, which speaks about change, right? Like, I'm not going to allow myself to focus on the things I've lost. Instead, again, I'm thinking about me, right? I'm th moving forward. There's two cups right behind this person while well, it's coming right under the two, right over the two of cups, but also this healing. And boy, do I feel like it ties right back to someone coming potentially back into your life. I kind of love the Ten of Pentacles over the sun also because 
I feel like, you know, the Ten of Pentacles to me is, um, and it's an abundant household, but it's, it's a house that takes root. It's a house that we really set down roots in. And I love that the sun is like the protector of it. So, you know, I feel like if I was going to project myself out into the future, I could see these two creating a life together, living together. And I feel like it's so different. It's just different. Um, but again, I'm projecting myself out because I feel like the beginning even of it is, again, this playful, romantic type energy. But again, you know, communication may be part of that. Like you're healing each other. Mm. Okay. Well, I just feel like that's your story, and I'm sticking to it. But I'm going to give one shuffle for anything else that wants to come out. I'm going to go right across the middle of the spread. If there's any other messages that want to come out. No, I have to tell you, I feel like, of course, this is probably not everyone's story. There may be different, like, avenues to it. But I feel like ultimately it's like tr truthful. Freedom. All right, I'm not sure if anything else wants to come out. Well, we'll leave it there. I feel like that just told your story. Um, you know, I just feel like it just told your story. And um, wow, first of all, it's a lot better than September's. I like that a lot. But to me, it feels like like I could tie these two together because the beginning of September's reading so difficult. Well, here it's it's still showing where that difficult energy, you know, might carry forward. But now I'm looking at it a different way, and that seems to be everything. You know, just don't give up your hope that there is a brighter future out there. But I feel like, you know, in the Three of Wands, um, I know that I want to plant those seeds, you know, like I'm going to look at things through an optimistic view with an optimistic view. And, you know, what comes to me will come to me, especially as my vibration, you know, I feel free, you know, maybe a cutting of certain ties, like it just automatically lifted me. And, you know, this definitely feels like the energy of what is meant to be will be. Um, because, boy, do I feel like, I feel like it's speaking of certain individuals who really are meant to be. Um, but that doesn't mean our soul didn't come here to also learn different things. You know, we want to remember that. Like our soul might have planted a seed before we came into this lifetime. Let's see if we can find each other again. Let's come together right when we really need each other. But in the meantime, like I as the soul, I want to experience this. And I as the soul want to experience this. And you're really learning the same type of lesson. Um, but maybe in different ways. Anyways, I see the synchronicity. So I don't know, guys. And I feel like your dreams are underneath. Are right underneath. Look at that, material and spiritual prosperity, the chariot, 
Another seven. Four sevens. Wow. Um, all right. I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys. Really, I do. I thank you so much. Um, please leave me your comments. Let me know how you relate to this reading. I, I'm, You know, I felt like it, it feels like it's talking about a particular story, but I can also see like the different avenues off it. So that's what I mean. Like, you know, where are you in the, in this in this energy? Um, you know, how are you feeling now compared to last month? That type of thing. Um, I feel like your comments help others. I really do. But it also helps me, gives me clarity of like, okay, I can see you in the reading. Um, anyway, I'll let that be. I thank you guys. I love you guys. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.